Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So friends, this is video 11 of Python series. So in this video, we are gonna discuss about map function, which is a very small function. It doesn't take uh, much time. So before that, I want to tell you all about my LinkedIn web page where you can right, loading it. So this is my LinkedIn web page where you can connect to me directly in LinkedIn and if you have any doubts, you can directly message me on LinkedIn. If the doubts are valid, I'll definitely reply. And even if you need any career guidance, you can do ping me on LinkedIn. I'll definitely try to answer your queries related to Python or tech. So before we move into the video, I want to introduce to you all about a website called Codem. Codem.cc So this is the website in which you can perform like coding activities. You can like interact with the person who knows coding and you can form a pair with him and you can learn coding with him and both can share the knowledge to each others. And uh, let's not take more about Codem. So this is the Codem website. I have already explained about the Codem in detail in previous videos. I'll be even giving the social media links and this Codem website link in the description. You can check out even they have Slack community, Codem Slack community. So you can create a Slack account and you can directly follow them there. And if you have any doubts related to Codem or anything, you can directly message at this particular community at Slack. So let's move into our topic now. So friends, this was day 10 lambda function. If you have not watched that video, do check out that video. And so now let us go to day 11. That is map function. So we are on the 11th video. So from 6th video, I'll, this is the, actually the second uh, Jupyter notebook. So from 6th video, these all things will be uploaded in my GitHub. This particular Jupyter notebook will be uploaded in my GitHub. You can check out that. I'll be providing the link of that GitHub repository in the description. So firstly, let me tell you the definition of map function. A map function executes a specified function for each item in an iterable. Uh, the item is sent to the function as a parameter. It is nothing but each executes each item as an iterable. Then it sends that to the particular functions parameter. So I'll show you all the syntax. Uh, don't worry about the definition, definition and the example codes. Everything will be available in my medium article. The article link also will be in the description. So syntax. I'm just giving a syntax for you all map. Function. Comma iterables. So this is the particular syntax of the map function. And I have already told you all the definition. Now let's try out an example code for map function. I'll take a normal uh, even or odd code only. I'll use the def for this also def. Even underscore odd. I want num inside the parameter. Even underscore odd, and I want the num inside this parameter. And if number percentile two double equals to zero, I hope you all know this code because you have saw in many other coding platforms, I mean coding languages also in C, C++. Return. 
the number is odd. Else return the number is even. Okay, let me run this code. So it got run successfully. Now num not num. Okay, wait a second. Even under call odd. So I'll give as twenty two and let me execute that. So this is odd. Code ran successfully. Now let me check for even number also 23. This is even. So it's running successfully. So this is one way you can do the particular code. Normal. This is not a map function. This is normal while loop and if loop. So before using the map function, let me show you all another example for that also and copy the same code and I'll paste it here. And now what is the option I have is this the number I'll give here uh, parenthesis and I'll say that to use format. So about format function I have explained in my previous video that is video nine. If you have not watched that video do watch it there I have explained in detail about list tuples and dictionaries. If you don't watch that, uh, you won't understand this particular format num particular code. Let me run this now. Now, if I check for even the scroll odd 23 and run, you can see here this is even okay. I forgot to clear the parenthesis. Now, if I run this. The number 23 is even. You can use this particular option. So this is not a map function. This is normal way to write the code. Now we'll see about map function. A good example about map function. Then we'll try to execute another one complex situation problem. So like I'll again use def. MAP map function A comma B A comma B A plus B Let me run this X is equals to I'll use here now map function map my function apple banana I'll take this example now. I'll take a comma. Let's give another unique names here like TV. Dragon fruit. So however the fruits topic came, so I want to comment your favorite fruit below. So my favorite fruit is dragon fruit. Do comment your favorite fruit below. This is just a small task for you all. So X is done. My function is not defined. Okay, sorry. I have used map function, right? Map function. Now if I print X. So this is printing in the form of 
memory location so actually map function uses lazy programming method lazy coding method where it does not directly show you the output it just directly shows the memory location that's all so if you want to see the output again you have to type uh, open brace yeah side link me tell it list take this and close this here okay one more back page now let me run this so you can see here it got like uh, merged both this particular uh, set of code and this particular set of code got merged and it gave me apple kiwi banana dragon fruit cherry lemon so nothing but uh, map function uses the lazy technique it got merged here so converts the map into a list this is just a small program of conversion conversion that's it so this is the basic code now let us see one more code now the video length is going on increasing so i'll directly use this particular example itself now here i'll run this one again and then i'll use a list let me to copy a particular list from somewhere so yeah this is the one more list i'll run this one and now if i use list map function even i can odd underscore odd comma lst now what will be the answer friends i'll run this you can see here the number 1 is even the number 2 is odd the number 3 is even so nothing but it got like looping it got looped into this particular code so if you want to like uh, get one after another like this output you can use another method that is called looping where you have to write a for loop or while loop statement where the it it should like each number should get looped then it should print it's like a three to line three to four lines of code but if you want to directly get the answer in one line of code you can use this lazy method called as map function so nothing to worry the detail article will be uh, about map function will be available in the description you can check out that article and also i want you all to try something on map function and lambda function try to code if you code only you will get the answer and you get the practice so friends that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe my channel if you have not watch my previous videos of python playlist you can see here the python playlist will be available so where i have uploaded 14 videos until now whoever have not watched it do watch it and do like share and subscribe my channel thank you all bye bye